Good day everyone, here's our math challenge for today. And here's our question. If 9x squared plus 41y squared plus 4z squared equals 24xy plus 20yz, then what is the value of x is to y is to z? You can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, let's answer this question together. Our goal in this question is to find the ratio of x, y, and z. Now, using this one equation consisting of x, y, and z. So, how are we going to answer this kind of question? Now, first thing is to notice something. Like, this 9 is a perfect square, this 4 is also a perfect square, but this 41 is not a perfect square. But 41 can be split into two perfect square, which is 16 and 25. So 41y squared can be written as 16y squared plus 25y squared, wherein 16 and 25 are all perfect square. So now, we have now perfect squares 9, 16, 25, and 4. And since they are perfect square, this 9 can be written as 3 squared. Of course, 16 squared is 4 squared, 25 is 5 squared, and 4 is 2 squared. And now let's use some loss of exponent. If we have a raised to n times b raised to n, it is equivalent to just a times b raised to the power of n. Therefore, 3 squared times x squared can be written as 3x raised to the power of 2. Now we can do the same thing to these three terms, like this. And now, what's next? Alright, what will happen if we square 3x minus 4y? Hmm. If we expand this, we will use binomial expansion. So we have 3x quantity squared minus 2 times 3x times 4y plus 4y quantity squared. Now, we have 3x quantity squared and 4y quantity squared. Now, multiply negative 2 times 3x times 4y. This will give us negative 24xy. And that is exactly this term right here on the right-hand side, 24xy. So, what we're going to do is to subtract 24xy on both sides. Now, 3x quantity squared minus 24xy plus 4y squared, we know definitely it is equivalent to 3x minus 4y quantity squared. So we can replace this expression with 3x minus 4y quantity squared. Now, of course, we will do the same thing on these three terms. So let's subtract 20yz on both sides. And now, Let's see if the expansion of 5y minus 2z quantity squared will give us 5y quantity squared minus 20yz plus 2z quantity squared. So 5y quantity squared minus 2 times 5y times 2z, this will give us negative 20yz plus 2z quantity squared. So this is exactly this expression right here. So we can replace this by 5y minus 2z quantity squared. Now, our equation becomes 3x minus 4y quantity squared plus 5y minus 2z quantity squared equals to 0. And now, take note, since it is a square number, those numbers must be greater than or equal to 0. And since the right-hand side equals to 0, and the only scenario that the sum of the square numbers must be 0 is when 3x minus 4y equals to 0 and 5y minus 2z must be also equal to 0. So 0 plus 0 must be equal to 0. Now, let's focus on these two equations. Let's have the first one. 3x minus 4y equals to 0. Let's add 4y on both sides. Now, divide y on both sides. And then divide 3 on both sides. This will give us the ratio of x to y must be equal to 4 over 3. Now, how about on the second equation? Let's add 2z on both sides. And then divide z on both sides. 
Now, divide 5 on both sides. So, the ratio of y to z must be equal to 2 to 5. Now, let's focus on these two results. So, we want the ratio of x, y, and z. But, take note that the value of z in this ratio is not the same. So, there's a problem. But, we can fix this. If we multiply 4 over 3 by 2 over 2, and if we multiply 2 over 5 by 3 over 3, take note that 2 times 3 and 3 times 2 is just the same. Therefore, the ratio of x to y must be equal to 8 over 6, and the ratio of y to z must be equal to 6 is to 15. Now, x over y equals 8 over 6 can be written as x is to y equals 8 is to 6. And and now, y over z equals 16 over 15 can be written as y is to z equals 16 is to 15. Now, both values of y must be equal to 6. Therefore, we can combine these two ratio. This will give us x is to y is to z must be equal to 8 is to 6 is to 15. Therefore, our answer to this question, what is the ratio of x, y, and z? And our answer is 8 is to 6 is to 15. And as always, we are done.